Today I'm going to show you how to make a zebra. And it's going to look like that. And hopefully better. Um, so what you're going to need is a piece of paper, a pencil, and a eraser. So, we're going to... And to do this, you have to draw lightly, which means you might not be able to see what I'm drawing. But if you look clo if you look closely and listen good, you'll be able to see. So let's start. So start with a large oval and two circles. One circle small, one circle medium. So let's do that. So let's start with the oval. And then about a centimeter away, we're going to draw the medium circle. And then about, well that's not good. And then about a teensy, a tad away from that, we're going to draw the little circle. So it should look like that so far. Can you see? Like that. Hopefully you can see. Like this. Alright, let's continue. Connect the shapes with curved lines. So let's connect the oval to the top of the head, or the top of the medium circle, and the bottom to the bottom of the middle circle. Then from that, you're going to draw to the little circle. And then you're going to draw an ear. Draw an ear and the beginning of a tail. Does that mean to tell should end in a rectangle? should look like this so far. Oh, sorry. <laughs> should look like that. And let's continue. Now draw an eye, a nostril, and a mouth. So the eye, just make a little circle in the medium circle. The nostril, around to the right of the little circle, you're going to draw a little dot, and then you do a smiley face, or if it's mad or whatever. Add the mane. The mane is the hair that goes up. So on the top curving line, from the oval to the medium circle, draw a bunch of little bumps for the mane. Draw the top section of the four legs. So... You're going to start, so it's just going to look like little stumps for now, for the four legs. Like this. Complete all four legs. So now we're going to draw two more stumps on each of the stumps. So two more, like, ovals on each of them. However long you want the legs to be. So long you should make them. And then make the... Now the next one should be square at the bottom for the hook. And then we're also going to draw the end of the tail. So you're going to make a semicircle. And then a bunch of little bumps on it. Like this. Now you got a zebra. Now, I know it doesn't look like a zebra. So we're going to erase all the inside lines. So erase the inside of the leg, but not the outside. Oops, let's see leg. So do that for all four legs. Erase the top of the oval. The butt, the side of the head, and all of this area. So it should look like that now. Then now to complete it. To complete the drawing, erase all extra lines. We've done that. 
add the zebra's spectacular stripes. They are so complicated, you know, so take your time and do a small section at a time. So just draw little shapes, little lines. Yeah, now you have a zebra. Um, we have time for one or two more. So, um, let me see what other one we should do. Mom, what other animal should we do? Why don't you do, hmm, my choice. Well, what do you want to do? Um, I can't hear you. So, leave your, for now we're going to do, we're going to do, right this, excuse me. Right now, we are going to do a cow. <laughs> um, let's start. So you're going to draw an oval, like we did with the zebra. Ooh, that's lazy. So draw an oval. This time I'm not going to show you the picture. Just to see if you're listening. Um, I'll show you while I'm drawing it. So let's make that oval. So make an oval and then a, an egg shape about a little above it. So let's do that. Notice that the animal, that the angles between the spaces between them, it's like, it looks like there should be a neck there. But place the bottom one. Be right back. One sec. Let's continue. So, now we have that then. Connect them with curved lines and add an eye. So, unlike the zebra, the eye should be hollow this time. Just make a hollow eye inside the egg shape. Kind of more towards the oval. Mm -hmm. And we're going to connect them. So now it should look like this. Okay, so now we have that done. Draw two ears and draw two legs. So let's draw, the ears are going to kind of stick out. And two legs. And now we have that. Sharp, draw the shape of a nose. It should kind of be like the zebra likes we do on the on the oval. And now add the two other legs. Like that. Draw a tail. Now draw a tail. So, it's going to kind of be like an upside down U, and it should have rectangular ends. And if you want, you could draw... Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> be like that. Now, draw the two horns. So, let's draw the two horns. Right, next step. 
Draw the two horns. Now draw little lines at the bottom of the feet. And draw a little pointy thing at the end of the tail. And enough. And so now it should look like this. Now erase all excess lines. So all extra lines. Let's do that. Erase all excess lines. So, now to do the nostrils, we just make two little nose things, lines. And then just color the whole dark, dark brown, kind of. It's going to be a brown towel. And then make little spots. So let's do that. So now you should have a cow. A pretty, pretty cow. Now we're going to do one more easy animal. Um, I think we're going to try to do a squirrel. Let me search my sketch. Book. All my sketches in it. See where a squirrel is. Where's a squirrel? Okay, so that's not a squirrel. There's a squirrel! Oh, it's come. Okay, so I'm sorry I'm gonna have to rush. So I might not be that clear. So let's do this. So you're going to make, start with three ovals, medium, small, and large. So the large, it took a large on the bottom. Large oval at the bottom. And then little in the middle. And then, oh that's bad. Large at the bottom. Large at the bottom. Ah, I can't draw. So it should be like large at the bottom. There we go. Um, there, perfect. Large at the bottom. Middle in the middle. Big at the top. Like that. This one right there. Draw two ears, draw the eye, and draw a curved line going down the back. The eye should be hollow. So it should look fine. So now you're going to draw another line. Um, add the nose. Add the nose. Draw two curved lines to shape the tummy and the other back leg. So like this. Make a line. Put a line there and a line there. Add a line to make the nose. So add a line in the little nose shape thing. Draw a arm coming up the little one, the little oval, and draw another arm. So it should look like that. So now you're gonna draw the tail. And then erase all excess lines. 
erase all lines, color it in, and you have squirrel. Um, yeah, that's it. Hope you enjoyed it. Give me your feedback. Bye. See ya. Peace.